Here is your latest end time news from Tradcat Night. Ladies and gentlemen, this is no joke. Cash strapped ISIS is selling sex slaves on Facebook. And the asking price, you may ask? 8000 each. One month after disturbing reports emerged that the cash-strapped Islamic State regime, so-called Islamic State regime, which, as noted last week, is rapidly losing control over territory, it had gained in its 2014 Blitz Offensive in Iraq and Syria, has been killing its own fighters in order to sell their organs as well as paying $50 to fighters for every female sex slave they own. ISIS has now tapped into yet another critical cash flow stream, apparently. Selling female sex slaves, but on Facebook. A recent Facebook posting attributed to an Islamic State fighter who called himself Abu Almani shows a young woman around 18-ish with olive skin, dark bangs, etc., etc. In the Facebook photo, she attempts to smile but doesn't look at her photographer. The caption mentions a single biographical fact that she is for sale. And there's a quote-unquote around her picture that says, To all the bros thinking about buying a slave, this one is... 8,000. Now, this was posted on May 20th, uh, and within a few hours uh, later, apparently Facebook had pulled it. This is interesting now, ladies and gentlemen. It goes to show you just how uh, dysfunctional, disorganized uh, they are. Um, you know, social media sites used by the Islamic State fighters in recent months. Uh, have included numerous accounts uh, of the buying and selling of sex slaves, as well as promulgation of for- formal rules for dealing with them. The guidelines cover such topics as whether it's possible to have sex with prepubescent prisoners, etc., uh, etc. Et but this is the first time, uh, as recorded by Zero Hedge, that uh, until the May 20th incident, there were no known instances of ISIS fighters posting photographs of female captives and them being offered for sale. Uh, Now, much is known about Abu Almani, the owner of the Facebook account. According to WAPO, he is thought to be a German national uh, fighter uh, fighting for the Islamic State in Syria. He has previously posted to social media accounts uh, under that name in very poorly uh, written English. Um, Early postings suggest that Almani is intimately familiar with the uh, ISIS activities around Raqqa, uh, the group's de facto capital in Syria. Now, ISIS has had to constantly innovate its sex slave trade marketing. Facebook has been quick to react to the terrorists using its pages. At the same time, the militants also have become more agile, leaping quickly from one social media platform to another and opening new accounts as soon as the older ones are shut down. Talk about desperation, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, We see uh, ISIS uh, beginning to fold. Again, ISIS is nothing less but a CIA CIA Mossad operation. Nevertheless, this is uh, some interesting news, to say the least. Uh, This just came out today. Again, ladies and gentlemen, for all your latest end time news, make sure you head over to Tradcat Night on YouTube so you can subscribe for all the latest news. Um, Make sure you visit the website on a daily basis, tradcatnight.blogspot.com. Invite your friends, radio shows quite frequently, nearly daily. Special guests on. I've got another great month coming up for you uh, in June. And lastly, if you can, please make a financial contribution to Tradcat Night. This is obviously an information war. We're up against the New World Order. We're up against the mainstream websites. And so for those who would like to make a donation via PayPal, you can do so on tradcatnight.blogspot.com. But for those who uh, would like to do cash, check, or money order, please uh, email me at apostleofmary at hotmail.com. 
so I can give you the mailing address. Now, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe and God bless.